Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know! We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. I, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Motto from NXT. Oh. I got your number from x -Pog. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. <laughs> what? Never mind, had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Hello, are you there? Hello? Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yeah. Great, we'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements, and congratulations. Being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know! After I missed out on the first May Young Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot, but it's happening <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm gonna win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh. Um. Never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened... What are we going to say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth, that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. 
We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this!